In this video, we will discuss the process of how IPv6 performs address resolution using ICMP v6 neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement messages. This is similar to the ARP process used by IPv4, but has certain advantages that we will see in a moment. Host A has a packet to send to host C. Host A has determined that the destination IPv6 address is on the same network as host A. Host A knows the destination IPv6 address, but needs the associated destination MAC address so it can encapsulate the IPv6 packet in an Ethernet frame to send directly to host C. Host A examines its neighbor cache to see if there is an entry for this destination IPv6 address. Similar to an ARP table, the neighbor cache maps IPv6 addresses to MAC addresses. For simplicity's sake, MAC addresses are shown here as four hex symbols instead of the usual 12. As we can see, there is no MAC entry associated with this IPv6 address. The IPv6 packet is placed on hold, and host A creates an ICMPv6 neighbor solicitation message. This is similar to an ARP request used for IPv4 address resolution. One significant difference is that ARP messages are sent directly over Ethernet. IPv4 is not involved. The IPv6 address resolution process uses ICMPv6, which is then encapsulated in an IPv6 header and then encapsulated in an Ethernet header and trailer. The ICMPv6 neighbor solicitation header includes the target IPv6 address, which is the same destination IPv6 address in the packet that is on hold. The target IPv6 address is mapped to a special IPv6 solicited node multicast address, which is then mapped to a special Ethernet multicast MAC address. This mapping process contains a significant portion of the target IPv6 address. This allows for the Ethernet NICs on each device that receives this frame to determine whether or not to accept and process the frame. This is where we see an advantage of ICMP v6 neighbor discovery over ARP for IPv4. Since ARP uses an Ethernet broadcast address, all devices on the local network must at least partially process an ARP request. The ICMPv6 neighbor solicitation message is forwarded by host A and received by the switch. The switch will flood the Ethernet multicast frame out all ports except the incoming port. Host B receives the Ethernet frame. Host B's Ethernet NIC examines the destination MAC address. The Ethernet NIC will accept frames whose destination MAC address matches the MAC address on the NIC, is a broadcast MAC address, or a multicast MAC address that maps to one of its IPv6 addresses. In this case, the multicast MAC address does not match any of these, so host B's NIC ignores the rest of the frame, without having to pass it up to an upper-level process to make this determination. Again, this is an advantage over ARP for IPv4. Router R1 receives the frame on its LAN interface. A similar process occurs on R1's interface. The Ethernet NIC ignores the frame because the destination multicast MAC address does not map to any of its IPv6 addresses. ICMPv6 neighbor solicitation messages are not forwarded by the router. This is because the solicited node multicast address in the IPv6 header is sent with link local scope, which tells the router not to forward these packets off the local linker network. Host C receives the Ethernet frame. This time, the Ethernet multicast MAC address matches a MAC address associated with host C, specifically the one mapped to host C's IPv6 solicited node multicast address. Therefore, host C accepts the frame and passes it up to its IPv6 process and then its ICMPv6 process. The target IPv6 address in the ICMPv6 header matches its own IPv6 global unicast address, so host C knows it is the target of this neighbor's solicitation message. Before replying, host C adds the IPv6 and MAC address of host A to its own neighbor cache, so it can return a neighbor advertisement message.
Host C replies with an ICMPv6 neighbor advertisement message sent as an Ethernet unicast message directly to host A. The ICMPv6 header includes host C's IPv6 address, which host A already knew, and the associated MAC address that host A was requesting. Host A receives the Ethernet frame examines the IPv6 address and the MAC address in the ICMPv6 header and adds it to its neighbor cache. Host A can now take the IPv6 packet off hold. Host A updates the destination MAC address with the address associated with the destination IPv6 address and forwards the frame and IPv6 packet to host C. Note that if the destination IPv6 address was on a different network, this same process would occur to discover the MAC address of the default gateway, which would map to R1's IPv6 link local address on this LAN.